，重构武装，启用手动驾驶，检索反应，全数清除。So, as long as Bronya changes her form based on the remaining projections, she can adapt the energy changes in the space. This is a battlefield tailored made for a hatcher of reason. That's right. With hatcher of reason's authority, Bronya can turn herself into being similar to them. After fully understanding the dimension, removing them would be a walk in the park. Seems like the torn main net created greater influence than Branya imagined. But is this all? That wave, it hasn't calmed. If this is also a war of attrition, Project Bunny, there isn't much disorganized data injected anymore, but the response system hasn't recovered. Is something else causing the disruption? For example. The girl analyzed every string of data in Project Bunny, and sighed helplessly after confirming that everything was normal. Ha! Huh, all right. For now, I'll take this as Project Bunny's trust in my ability, not as a silent protest. After this battle, Branya will give Project Bunny a long break, maintain its parts with the highest quality lubricant, and manually recover the scrapped part with spray paint. How does it? F Why does it feel more and more uncanny? Never mind. Branya will get used to changing forms frequently in battle. We don't know when May will return. After all, before then, let's use this method to understand this place better. Maybe in the next mission, it'll take more than a moment. May, what happened to you? Kiana. Kiana. May, want me to help you over to that chair for rest? I'm fine. I don't know why I suddenly felt dizzy. I feel better now. Is it because of the roller coaster? I'm not sure. Probably not. May didn't react at all when we were on it. Yeah, you were the only one screaming just now. Branya's ear heard from your scream. Oh, it must be because Kiana was too loud. That's why May feels unwell. Hey. The whistling wind, humid air, and Kiana screams. These recent sensations were seemingly jumbled together in that temporary yet intense dizziness. Then, does May still want to play? Of course. We planned this since a month ago. It's rare to have such long vacation. Or maybe Kiana's already had enough. Ah,、uh, of course not. I can still play all day. No, I can still play all week. Kiana, idiota. May said that because she knows you still want to play. Branya. <laughs> Although the strange dizziness had yet to fade completely, they were having a great time now. The first present from Principal Teresa after Hong Kai had ended.
best way to show their gratitude would be to have as much fun as they could. It should be, right? Hi, are there any interesting attractions that we should visit nearby? Is it your first time here? I've purchased annual passes for two years now, and I'm still not sick of anything here. In my opinion, you should try out anything that you've never played before. What's wrong? You look like you've missed out on something important. Did you see? There's a really pretty guide who's introducing the attractions to guests over there. Ah, what a waste! I shouldn't have foolishly explored them by myself. Daddy, I still want to play. It's getting late. Let's go home for dinner. If you're good, Daddy will bring you again next week. Yes, as children, we all love spending time with our parents. Diana, Bronya, do you guys want to play? How about we try whatever we see? Then we won't have to decide. Bronya's alright with that. If we walk along this path, there should be plenty of attraction we haven't tried. Then let's go. I hope the queues won't too long. Cuties. I heard you all discussing what to play next, right? Ah, uh, yes. We didn't decide on anything, though, so we'll go with the flow. Oh my, that sounds great. But there are so many attractions here. It would be a pity to only play along one path. What I mean is, without a professional's help, I'm afraid you'll waste your time queuing up. When you're done with one path, everyone's already clocking off. So, this unnamed lady, are you a professional who's here to help? That's right, you're a smart one. As you can see, I'm the professional guide of this amusement park. Naturally, I answer any questions that adorable girls may have and bring them around to have an amazing time. But we didn't ask for a guide. It's not too late to ask for one now. See the AI guide machine over there? Click customer service on the main screen and choose 5 star guide Miss Pink Elf. Just like this and this. Look, you just have to scan the code now. Wait, let us think about it. Kiana Idioka, don't you think she's too strange? Now that you mentioned it, she is. What do you think, May? True, I think it's only reasonable to reject this mysterious stranger who's over-familiar and outwardly suspicious. But for some reason, even though they did not know each other, even though she has said to reject her, May still couldn't find a way to refuse. I... I think she's the really pretty guy that the other guests were talking about. Looking at her appearance, she does match the description. As for her attitude, I remember all guys to be rather similar. I see. Looks like May really won the Skype service, huh? Yeah.
Since you say so, we're counting on you, Miss Alicia. I'm glad to help. Oh right, I still don't know the name of this pretty white-haired lady. Me, I'm Kiana. Kiana Kaslana. The Moon Goddess. What a beautiful name. Thanks. You have a pretty name too. Um, I think so. Do you want to guess what Alicia means? I feel like this is a trick question. What Alicia means? Alicia, have I heard this name somewhere? May I consciously recite the name? I felt as if something had fallen on her palm, like fine sand. But just as she wanted to grasp it, it scattered in the wind. She wallowed in the frustration of having lost the answer, and did not even hear anything Kiana and the others said afterwards. Until. A megaphone? Oh my, I've spoken too much. I'm just so weak and gentle. At this rate, even a pro can guarantee you all get to play the attractions you like. So please follow Miss Pink Elf, and let's have a great time. May, is something wrong? Yeah, May's been awfully quiet. Oh, I'm just thinking what to play after catching dogs. Leave that to the guys. As a tourist, all you have to do is enjoy yourself. This is the most popular attraction in the amusement park, Doll Catch. What a huge claw machine! This isn't for catching dolls, it's for catching humans. Don't you think that doll sounds cuter and more attractive? For example, Brownie is such a doll sounds much cuter, right? That makes sense, but this is a different story. Don't mind the details. Just think of it as a special claw machine, all right? Special. Anyway, before we begin, let's assign our roles. May wasn't feeling well just now. How about we let May catch us? Brownie won't be caught. Ah, May predicted Brania's movements. <laughs> I knew it would turn out like this. One defeat doesn't mean anything. How is it? Did you all have fun? Of course. Thanks for bringing us here. But aren't you gonna join us, Alicia? It'll be more fun with another player. I'm the guide. If I lose myself in the fun and forget my job, that wouldn't be fun, would it? 
The dog catch is just the first highlight of the members' package. Like the big hammer, pirate ship, and balloon pop. The queues for those are really long. You guys probably haven't tried. I personally recommend balloon pop the most. Balloon pop sounds very interesting. I'm cool with that. How about me? As long as we're together, anything is fine. Oh, such an enviable relationship. In that case, let's play balloon pop next. We're here. Balloon pop looks really normal. I thought it had a complex design like doll cat. Oh, how naive of you. A girl's game needs to proceed elegantly and calmly. An overly complex design will ruin the aesthetics. A girl game. I feel like I've heard of that somewhere before. This time, the three of you can challenge each other. I'll show you how awesome Kaslana Gunkata is. Project Bunny won't lose. Such zestful pump-up speeches. Does May have anything to say? No. I'm the only one who took it as a game. Looks like our third contestant is a little shy. In that case, shall we cut to the chase? Usually quiet. How rare. Never mind. I should focus on the blues. I'm not surprised you did it with ease. Hmm. That's a surprising result. I think you have what it takes to be a sharp shooter. Looks like you two are left wanting more. So, shall we play another round of pop a balloon? It's so quiet. They haven't spoken since they began playing this game. Are they being overly serious? That's a surprising result. I think you have what it takes to be a sharp shooter. Alicia, did you repeat what you just said? Huh? Did I? You must have heard wrong. No, I'm sure I didn't. Kiana, Grania, have you noticed? Yeah, she did say it twice. If someone in a sci-fi flick repeats what she said many times, Grania would suspect she's not a human but an android. How bold of you to assume that! Does any one of you want to confirm it? You can pinch my face or rub my hand or something. I was only testing if that was the pitch used by tour guides to improve customer satisfaction. Seriously, why must everyone believe everything is done on purpose? I thought we were very close friends. Friends? Regardless of whether I'm an android, at least I've been a great tour guide so far, right? If I say part now, we may never meet in the news park again. Wouldn't it be a real pity to miss out on beauty like me? 
Why do my feelings? So try to trust me a bit more, okay? May was faced with a familiar choice. Furthermore, the faint dizziness clung to her nerves again. Part with the strange tour guide now, or continue to peer into Alicia's goal doubtfully. May waited for her two companions to speak their minds. Yet they were just as lost in thought and did not respond to Alicia. Alicia, what's the next attraction? Um, you've made your choice. Then I better get serious. I was going to take you to the roller coaster again. But being a wise guy, I just had a better idea. What we're going to experience is the hidden treasure. Here we are. I don't see anything. It's a treasure hunt, so what fun would it be to put the treasure at the start? But then again, that'd be original. Of course, if Kiana likes it bold, such as burning my arms, I might just have to hand you the treasure. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Alicia, if the treasure hunt is a hidden attraction, what are the treasures? Haha, <laughs> a secret. What they are and what makes them special, you'll see when you find them. Travel guidebook dropped by someone. Judging by its format, it seems to be an edition released much earlier than ours. But it's as clean as a new copy. An amusement park ticket folded square. The date field is blank. Slightly damaged student ID booklet. The symbol of Chiba Academy was printed on it. Chiba Academy. The inside of the booklet stunned her. That's my student ID booklet. She looked to Kiana in search of an answer. Ah. In terms of specialness, this might be the first treasure Alicia mentioned. Guess I misunderstood what she meant by treasure. But I never thought I'd recover it. I don't even remember when and where I lost it. Faced by the girl's smiling immaturity in the photo, May felt as if she was now staring at her younger self, but it looked like from a distant planet. If there was a mirror, she might actually look into it and find how different they were. Speaking of which, although Chiba Academy and Saint Freya are both high schools, they feel entirely different. I remember Kiana didn't transfer in for studies, but the student status 
你的目的是寻找奇格飞先生的踪迹，学生只是一个便于行动的身份而已。Yeah, that and we weren't in the same grade. We didn't cross paths at first, and my knowledge of May was limited to the nickname Lightning Queen. Ah, like the Silver Wolf of the World. May had a famous nickname at Chiba Academy. It was pretty famous in a way. That wasn't a good thing, though. More like a horrible thing, she thought. A nickname was a stereotype imposed on an individual by a group. Once formed, it can rarely be changed. All subsequent actions of said individual will be tainted by their nickname. Over time, people may be influenced by nicknames to the point of agreeing with stereotypes. But looking back now, I understand why those things happened. I had a wealthy family and excellent grades, but was laconic and chauffeured to and from school. Everyone believes this Harris had very high standards and was driven by profit. Words of awe. I thought this was how socializing was supposed to be. It wasn't until misfortune struck my family that I realized I was living in a bubble. Now that I think of it, I only needed a real friend. Of course, she didn't need to stand up for me when my classmates badmouthed me, or lend me her umbrella when I forgot mine. She just needed to talk and share food with me during lunch break, and this memory wouldn't pain me. At least, it wouldn't make me feel painful. Yep. Yes. Kiana's reaction startled me. She thought Kiana would have much to say about the subject matter and the dream she had. What's wrong, May? Never mind. Now that we've found the first treasure, let's move on to the next. Okay. 好。